So you guys might have heard the news. But did you hear the old news or did you hear the new news? Fortnite is getting an engine update at the beginning of next month, yes! Specifically, an update to Epic Games' new Chaos Physics system, yes. But what does this mean exactly? Let's jump into it. Welcome back, my friends. It is your host, your friend Cody, back with a quick update video on everything we know about this upcoming engine update, why Epic might be implementing it, what to expect from Season 2, and a look at some fantastic concept art that just may be a hint of what's to come. Speaking of Season 2, we won't be seeing that for a while, and I know everyone's been complaining about the game feeling stale, so I want to know if the lack of content makes a difference. Are you still going to be grinding Fortnite, or have you thought about trying something new? Let me know in the comments below. I'm just curious if no updates are going to be driving players away. Personally, I'm hooked, bro. I love Fortnite. Give me some more Fortnite. We're going to play more Fortnite. Ah, oh, Fortnite! <laughs> There are no gameplay tips in this video. For those, you can check out ProGuides.com. We've got courses written by pros, full of tips and tricks, as well as professional coaches that can teach you exactly how to win more games. You can also check out the rest of our channel for tips and tricks videos. Be sure to subscribe, give a thumbs up, then visit ProGuides.com to get started. And let us get on with the video. Okay, so let's start by going through Epic's recent announcement. In it, they say, Beginning with the release of the 1150 update in early February, Fortnite will be moving to Unreal Engine's Chaos Physics system. At launch, the goal is to ensure that Fortnite still feels like Fortnite. Along the way, there will be some bumps, so we're starting tests with a small group of players. So wait, what is Epic Chaos Physics system? Well, essentially, it allows games to display lifelike physics when it comes to anything being destroyed. Like buildings, for example. This tech demo here, while obviously set outside the world of Fortnite, is an example of what this physics system can look like. The walls crumble apart and fall to the ground instead of just disappearing when destroyed. There's weight and gravity behind the destruction as well, giving it a gritty and more realistic feel. And depending on what's doing the demolition, the chunks can be large, small, or medium-sized. Like here, when they're demonstrating how explosives create substantially bigger pieces of rubble compared to the previous scene. Large chunks come at first, and then they break into smaller chunks during their collapse. It's pretty cool, but man, that mech's giving me Season X flashbacks. I don't know if I can handle it anymore, bro. Turn it off. So, looking back at the post, a couple of bits stand out. First, the goal is to ensure that Fortnite still feels like Fortnite. Based on that, we can presume that no significant gameplay changes are being implemented along with the new Chaos system. Because with what this new system is capable of, Epic could change the building system entirely. However, would that be a good change? A majority of players are presumably happy with the current system, and making it more complicated might not be the right move per se. There's an old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And right now, I don't think the building system needs fixing. However, they start the sentence with at launch, meaning Epic might have plans to change how Fortnite uses chaos in the future, so the building system might see a rework. Maybe they'll add weak points and structures or different destructible sections, something that utilizes the new physics system and switches up gameplay at the same time. If this is the case, I don't think we'll see anything for a while. Drastic changes to core mechanics would probably take a while to test, so I'm guessing it'll be until at least Season 3 before we see anything. Epic also goes on to tell us the Season 2 drop date. Thursday on the 20th of February, so a bit of an extra delay. Not what any of us want, I know, but at least we've got some additional overtime challenges and a new two-week event to tide us over until then. I know Epic celebrated Valentine's Day in the past, so the event could be that. But chances are, it's a promotion for the new Birds of Prey movie. If it is, you know Valentine's Day is coming up, maybe it could be a good date. Guys, if you got a crush out there, don't be scared, okay? Make a move, go say hello. You don't gotta do anything too big, you know? Just be yourself, play it cool, take a big breath. And W key, dude, come on, all right? She and or he is waiting, dude. Just go for it and do your thing, y'all. But enough love advice, all right? Fortnite replied to a tweet with the cast of the movie saying, see you soon, Harley. So yeah, just like with the Batman event we saw in Season X, we're probably going to see something similar. A Harley Quinn skin, new challenges, and maybe even a temporary POI to go with it, just like we had in Gotham City in Season X. That's just a prediction, so if you got a better idea of what the event will be, be sure to leave it in the comments. There's also a bit of mystery in the announcement. Epic's intentionally teasing us, saying Chapter 2 Season 2 will feature blank with multiple blank. So we don't know what it'll feature yet, 
but them pointing it out means season two will contain something new. Blank? Maybe it's Blanc. La Blanc. They're gonna combine League of Legends characters. Yes. Okay, that's probably not it. So don't listen to me. I'm not gonna lie. There's some pretty good meme potential here. Drowsy99 on Reddit made a hilarious post already saying the update's going to feature an FOV slider with multiple mobility items and a good pump damage. Every competitive player's fantasy, yo, oh, please. Sadly, I doubt that's what Epic is hitting at, but a man can have some hope, okay? Please don't kill our dreams, Epic, bro, come on. Maybe just put Teemo in? Okay. Finally, they mention how, along the way, there are going to be problems with the new system, so only a small group of players are going to have it at first. I'm not entirely sure how they'll choose these players, but I'm guessing it'll be based on hardware. Like, only PC players with specific parts will have it enabled, and that's fair because really, Epic is taking a gigantic leap here. This might be the most dramatic graphics update Fortnite has ever had. Just take a look at these concept photos. This one, by EA Skate Concepts on Twitter, shows a plane demolishing a brick tower, and man, look at those details! That is looking smooth! Every brick is being blown out in its own unique way. Move out the way, old graphics, because these are utterly fantastic looking! <laughs> Do you get it? Okay, and there's this edit by Envy on YouTube too that sort of shows how the physics system could be applied. Look at all the wood breaking apart in different directions, and pieces stay on the ground. These videos are just concepts, as in, they aren't real in-game footage or anything. I don't even think they were made by the Chaos Engine, but it is still a fantastic look at how it might come about. I want to be optimistic and say this is how Fortnite's going to look, but we've got to consider hardware limits. Like I don't think an Xbox One or PS4 running off hardware several years ago can handle these graphical enhancements without severe strain. Modern PCs definitely could, and so could the upcoming generation of consoles, but the current ones would struggle. I mean, the Nintendo Switch struggled with the game's physics not too long ago. They had to disable it on a lot of skins, and it made people angry. So, ultimately, I think we will see the Chaos Physics engine used primarily for events. Think of the Robot vs. Monster event from Season 9, but with way more destruction in detail. Haha. <laughs> Man, it would be awesome! Epic will probably be wary of changing gameplay with it, since it'll hurt the performance of consoles and mobile, but as long as hardware limitations aren't a factor, I can see some major changes potentially shaking things up in the future. Thanks for watching our video, everyone. It was just a short update this time around, so let us know if you enjoyed it. If you learned something new, please drop us a like and subscribe for some more daily Fortnite content. Also, leave a comment as to your predictions for the new season. As always, you can use code PROGUIDES in the item shop to help us out even further, and you can visit ProGuides.com for more tips, tricks, and guides. Once again, it's been your friend Cody. You can follow me on Instagram at CocoMeddler. Are you loco for the Coco? Let me know, my friends. Also, YOLO, okay? Guys, we got one life. So go out there, do it. Don't be afraid. You know, like I said, if you got that crush, maybe just go up to her and say hello. You never know what can come about if you just put yourself out there. There's opportunity all around you and it is waiting to be W keyed. So go in there, get that life W, my friends. All right, do this. I believe in you. Anyways, guys, thanks for listening. I will catch you soon. Peace.